everybody, I'm Overcord95 and welcome back to Cornucopia Collectibles. First off, sorry for such a long break. Meant to get more videos out, kind of got stuck with the family holidays and other things getting in my way. Apologies. There will be a bunch of videos coming out, including ones I'm jokingly going to call the lost files from when we were supposed to put out videos and I didn't get to them from a while back. But we got two Funko Mystery Boxes for you today. One is from... Ralphie's Funhouse, Spastic Collectibles, Spastic Pops. They're just, I think they're all just now Ralphie's Funhouse, though. But it's a $63 uh, guaranteed value Glow Grail Hunt box out of 36 boxes, with the top box being worth $440 plus. Then we have a Nerdy Newt Collectibles Hunt for Wolverine mystery box. That's a $220 box. So in total, we got $283 in mystery boxes. We got one that's a guaranteed value, one that isn't. We'll see what we get, and hopefully we get some really cool stuff. So we're going to start, though, with the $63 box. Based on this size, I bet you there'll be four pops. Let's see what we got here. So, open it up. I see four pops. Two saw protectors, two no protectors. We're going to start with the no protectors first. So I doubt we got the $440 box, but we got... Looks like Jerry Judy, I believe is his name. I'm not certain for the Broncos NFL pop. Not a team I personally collect, so. But I don't know. I'm assuming he's like a wide receiver, maybe. Because if it was the if it was the quarterback, usually they throw him with they show him with the ball. So I, I I think he's either a wide receiver or a tight end or something. Don't know. Don't pay attention to the Broncos. So we'll check him out and we'll be right back. All righty. Nothing crazy for him. I mean, he isn't. <laughs> he's not a protector, so it's not a total surprise. But he's worth eleven bucks. Not bad. All righty. Next on the no protector box, we got we got Gingerbread Thor with his gummy <laughs> or hard candy th Mjolnir. I don't understand these people like them though. It is getting cr close to Christmas time, so they are decorative if nothing else. From 2021, we will check him out and see where he's at. Be right back. Alrighty, we're looking at 12 bucks for Mr. Gingerbread Thor here. Not bad, not crazy. Again, I just don't understand them. Next up, one of our soft protectors. We've got, oh, from Disney Encanto. I don't think I've actually gotten any of these yet. Uh, Mirabel Magical, the main character of the movie. That's cool. Although I like I was oh I was uh I was t we were talking about this before is if you know when this movie came out everybody was looking for the Luisa stuff. And all they could find was the other sister was Isabella. <laughs> and I always find that funny cuz Disney <laughs> made a mistake. But yeah, this is from 2021 as well, so not super old. I don't know anything about these where they're at, so we'll check them out and we'll be right back. All righty. Well, pretty good actually for this with no like exclusivity or anything like that. We're looking at $26. Not bad. All right, last one. Did I save the best for last or the worst for last? Or I don't know. It's in the protector, so let's find out. All righty. So we got it's a robin. Is it the it is the patina robin? So this was part of like the China Joy Expo exclusive or something like that. That was only available overseas, which is why it has this big old sticker on the bottom there. This is from, what year is this from, 2020? I don't know, they have a giant sticker over it. I can't actually tell what year it is. Oh, 2021, I want to talk. It's on the summer. <laughs> I'm looking at the bottom thing, it's going to be there. From 2021 summer, pretty cool. I do like the look for that. You know, it looks, it, uh, the statue look looks really cool. I will check him out and be right back. Alrighty. Well, he's gone down from when I think we first saw him. He's at a 21 bucks now in to for him. Not bad, though, still. In total, we're looking at $70 in value. On a $63 box, we did get our guaranteed plus a little. And again, when we did get this compared to now, there might have been some changes in, in the pricing. But not bad overall. Pretty cool. All righty. Next is the big boy. This is a $220 You're Hunting for Wolverine mystery box. I'm probably sure that's like the, the first Wolverine Funko Pop, I think if I remember from the photos. It's a, you know, the, the grail. But for 220 bucks, let's see what Nerdy Newt's given us. Probably double boxed. I think usually if it's over $100, she double boxes them. Yep. 
We got box number 40. Probably out of 40. <laughs> All right, so gonna be what, six pops in here or so? We got yep, six pops, five soft protectors, one no protector. So we didn't get Wolverine. <laughs> so we'll do the one with no protector first. We got from Pan's Labyrinth, the Pale Man. Interesting. This is a 2018 pop, so it's, it's four years old. I, don't, I, I know that I'd seen the soda of him. I didn't know those. I, I should have realized it was a pop as well, but interesting. Creepy dude with an eye. The funny thing is, is that eye is in the, he has the eye in the hand and everything. It's so, such a minor detail. Now, it's important detail. It's, it's, you know, it's because of how small the pop is. It's such a small thing. We'll check him out and we'll be right back. Alrighty. Not a bad one to start with. You're looking at $22, which if he's not a protector, that means probably everything else is at least 25 bucks or more, you know, at least, in, at least I would think. Creepy. Good for Halloween. <laughs> All right, moving on. I'm gonna just go, I'm just gonna go down the down the box. We got the Munsters. Is this Herman Herman Munster? Walgreens exclusive in a like a leather jack biker jacket almost. Yeah, it's like a leather biker jacket. I know it's not what he's probably riding, but this is like his car outfit or something when he drives him around. Twenty nineteen. That's cool one. Black and white, everything. That's that's a really cool pop, actually. We'll check him out and we'll be right back. Alrighty. $14 for him, which is kind of weird. Again, Pale Man's 22 this one's 14 Why is this one in the soft protector? But it is Herman Munster Biker. So, but still. Alright, moving on. Next one. From the fifth element. Ooh, this is the Ruby Rod. I thumped, I think there's only the one the one run of these guys so I think these are fairly valuable overall I think every single one has some decent value it's been so long since I watched the movie actually I need to watch it again but yeah he is from 2015 so going on we're, we're over seven years old looks so weird he really does we'll check him out and we'll be right back all righty well we might have just pulled the big one for the box this is Valued at $105, and it is a vaulted goodie from 2015. Pretty cool piece, and it's in good shape, too. Definitely going to want to get him in a hard stack. But we'll, we got three more to go. Hopefully, there's another really good one in there. So let's find out. We got Make-A-Wish Metallic Blue Cheshire Cat from 2021. That's a cool one. It's always a cool one. Uh, the Make-A-Wish ones are all... I liked, actually, the whole last run of them with that metallic blue. You know, so from t technically 2022, but it wasn't when it came, when it got it fully released. But still pretty cool. Cheshire Cat grinning at you. We'll check him out and we'll see where he's sitting at. Alrighty. He's sitting at $15. Not bad, considering it's basically holding value. You know, it cost you $15 to get him when it first came out. And now it costs you $15 more. Yeah, to sell him. All right, next up, we've got, ooh, Marvel Blade. This is the 2021 Summer Virtual Funcon Limited Edition Blade. Wasn't this the one that was temporarily recalled and then... From 2021. Looks in good shape. We'll check him out and we'll see where he's sitting at. Be right back. Alrighty, looking pretty good there. With the Virtual Funcon sticker, we're looking at a value of $34. He's a cool one. I'm trying to remember why it was, like, recalled and stuff, and I can't remember. Maybe the blades were able to get, like, pulled out or something, and so they were a choking hazard. I don't know. I, I, I'd, I'd be interested to know if, what it was, because I can't remember now. Alright, last one. Hopefully not the least. We got... I have no idea, but it's from Alice Through the Looking Glass. Is it time? We have a new kitten, by the way, so you might hear random noises as she explores her entire prop <laughs> her property. So this is Time from Alice Through the Looking Glass from 2016, so six years old. Not bad. That was uh, Sarah, uh, Sasha Barra Cohen played him. 
I have no idea. I'll have to check him out and we'll see where he's at. Be right back. Alrighty. <laughs> we didn't save the best for last. Time here is a vaulted Funko Pop coming in at $14. In total, that leads us at $204. Together with the other box, we're at $274. We were looking for $283. A little loser this time, but honestly, to get our hands on... Where'd it go? Where'd, where'd, the, where'd the best one go? Uh, the Ruby Road, because these are hard to find. Uh, not bad. And the fact that some of these are older ones, even if they're not huge ones, like... I, this isn't in stores anymore. You're not going to find that again. So if you're looking for stuff from Alice through the Looking Glass, yeah, it's a little bit harder to find. Not bad overall. Uh, let me know what your one, your favorite one was. Honestly, I like the Herman Munster. I think that one's the coolest one. I really do. He's just He's got little metallic dots in him. The leather is shiny. It looks cool. I love it. Wish he was worth a little bit more, but pe kids these days don't appreciate the, <laughs> the classics. But yeah, thank, yeah, let me know what your favorite was. I think we had a good time with these. Um, more videos will be coming. But good luck hunting out there. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.